Hey, what is going on guys? Jolt here, and today I'm going to be releasing my Nisha game save. Uh, so I'll link it down in the description in PC format. If you want to use it on Xbox or PS3 or anything like that, I will link the tutorial down there too. And yeah, let's get into the build. Alright, so first off we have the Luck Cannon. This is going to be your uh, long range weapon. So the longer distance you are like away from an enemy, there's a chance the weapon or the bullet will explode and do extra damage, which is really cool for this build. The Flare, this is going to be good for close range, lots of pellets, and it's a really high DPS weapon. Then we have the Skull Masher. This is going to be good for long range, and it's Tom Tom, so if you hit that critical hit, it's going to do massive damage. Kanita's Laser, this is going to be good for second wins. The Shield of Ages, this is like a really tanky shield, really recommend it. The Lawbringer, now this is going to be good for healing and also has a bunch of good skills for the build. Longbow Cryo, this is going to be good for freezing your enemies. Strafing Run, this is going to give you extra reload speed and fire rate when you're airborne. The Pitchfork, now a lot of enemies in this game have really tanky shields. Um, some examples would be like the Bozen, EOS, Eclipse, uh, some of them. So uh, this weapon will basically shred their shield. I recommend that. The IVF, now like I said before, a lot of enemies have tanky shields. So this is going to be good for like the Sentinel and stuff like that. You can chuck this at him and break his shield really easily. The Maggie. Now, this is kind of a alternative to the Luck Cannon if you don't want to use it. Uh, it has pretty high DPS too. Logan's Gun. This is going to be good for regening rockets if you have the Shaman. The Excalibur. Now, this is going to be for your melee build. We'll go into that later. And it freezes enemies pretty easily. Laser Discard. Pretty much, this is like the Unkempt Herald of this game. It's super good. Uh, it works on every character. It just has high stupid DPS, so I recommend this weapon. Absolute Zero. Now, I have two weapons here. Um, this one and also the Phrygia. You can use either or for freezing enemies, but I like the Phrygia better. The Bada Boom. Now, this one's Shock. Like I said before, there's a lot of enemies with tanky shields. This will basically destroy their shield really easily. The Mongol. Now, we'll get into this in a bit, but basically, this weapon has insane DPS with gigantic enemies like EOS, Eclipse, uh, Iwo Jira, stuff like that, so... Um, there's a skill called Tombstone, which um, adds automatic critical hits to your weapons. And all the pellets from the Mongol are going to get critical hit bonuses. Tum Tum Muck Muck. Now, Tombstone is a skill that basically gives you automatic critical hits, even if you don't hit them. Um, so if you shoot like a weapon that has like slow bullet speed like the Mongol, or the Bada Boom or something, and switch to this, uh, you're going to get a 190% critical hit damage bonus on those weapons, or on the pellets, which is pretty broken. Um, I also included the Lady Fist, which is not really... I guess obtainable in this game legit, uh, but with the community patch and also using Gibbed or whatever, you can get this weapon, and it does the same thing, like you shoot the weapon, switch to this, and do insane DPS. Then we have the Rosie, I don't really use it too much unless like enemies have uh, bullet deflection, such as um, the Sentinel or some of the, the bots or whatever, but for the most part, this is kind of optional if you want to use it, it's up to you. The Taser, this is going to be for your flying enemies, um, oh, what are they called, they're not called buzzards in this game, but... Uh, spaceships or something I can't recall but uh, for them or RK5 or some of the uh, flying enemies this is really nice for that now also goes for the company man too that's gonna be good for your flying enemies the vibra pulse now this is for healing if you want it I don't use it too often because the lawbringer actually includes healing pretty well uh, so it's kind of optional if you want to use it now we have the plunket now this is more of a fun weapon if anything it's not really needed for the build but if you hit a critical hit it's gonna go back into your magazine the bullets and so with tombstone active or if you're using showdown if you aim down sight you're going to hit an automatic critical hit on your enemies and you would basically never have to reload which is pretty cool uh the phrygia we already covered that now the moonscaper this is a fun weapon so check this out when you have this on and hit it with splash damage let's do uh logan's gun okay so any weapon that has splash damage that like you know can damage you uh if you shoot the moonscaper at the floor you have to jump first and then shoot it at the floor if the pellets don't rise, that means it's not going to work. As you can see here, it doesn't uh, do anything. So, uh, let's go ahead and go over here. Alright, this should be good. So, shoot the floor. You see how they rise? If you jump off of it with a Logan Skine, you get some serious air. And you can apply this uh, multiple times over. So, you can like launch yourself across the map if you want to, like this. Yeah, pretty fun. And this is, you know, pretty good for getting around. I recommend it. Then we have the probe. This is going to be for your melee build. It does heal you when you uh, melee the enemy. Uh, so this is pretty much needed for your melee build. Lady Fist, we already covered that. Moonscaper, we covered that. Law Enforcer, this is going to buff your melee quite a bit. So this is for the melee build. The Crab Shooter, this is going to boost Tombstone. So you're basically going to hit critical hits automatically uh, with the Tombstone skill. And also boost the critical hit damage too. And this is pretty much only for bossing. Because you need high DPS for bossing. Then we have the Quasar. This is going to be pretty much good for any build. You can grip up the enemies really easily. 
and uh, take them out. Then we have the Stormfront. This is going to be for pretty much any build, but it's basically mostly for your melee build. Uh, so when you throw this straight at the floor, it's going to break your shield or strip your shield. And it's going to give you the Roy damage bonus from your uh, melee shield, which will be the Avalanche. Then we have the Eddy. Now, this goes for your laser build if you want to use the Vibra Pulse or the Rosie. Uh, but you can also put this on for survival because it regens your shield automatically. And it can also drop health files and ammo, which is really cool. Then we have the Acrobat. This is going to be for your melee build. It's going to boost your movement speed and melee damage. This is going to be for critical hit damage and weapon accuracy. Uh, pretty good if you want to apply that with Tombstone. This is good for flying enemies. So EOS, um, RK5, any kind of flying enemy will take more damage. And also you get more rate of fire. The Bulwark. This is going to be for your laser build if you want to use it. Um, put that on with the Rosie and the Eddie, And you get more uh, laser damage. Avalanche. This is the best asteroid shield in the game the sham this is going to be for absorbing rockets and that's all the gears so yeah let's go over the skill tree all right so here's the skill tree um this is built for my gun damage build i'm just going to go ahead and explain all the skills so first off this is going to be more shield capacity and also melee damage uh this goes for both builds you uh pretty much want that skill and you have to spec into both of these to get down this tree anyway, so you have no choice. Order, that's going to give you more healing. One hit will give you more damage. Discipline will give you more gun damage and melee damage and shield recharge delay. Blood of the Guilty, this is going to give you more health regen. Saddle Up, this is going to give you movement speed and gun damage. Ruthless, this is going to give you more showdown duration. Bottled Courage, this is going to give you more shield recharge rate and delay. Short Fuse, this will give you more damage. Faster Than You, this is going to give you more reload speed, weapon swap speed, and rate of fire. Hell's Coming With Me, this is basically two thing in the pre-sequel, so you have a chance to double shot. One for each of you, so this is going to give you two pistols, so if you have a pistol on, it's going to be two of them. Bonafide Grit, this is going to give you more health regen and critical hit damage. Quick Shot, this is going to give you more gun damage and rate of fire. Unchained is going to give you more rate of fire. Fistful of Bullets, this is going to give you more magazine on all your weapons. Impatience will give you more reload speed. Crack Shot is going to give you more gun damage on your first bullet fired. Trick Shot will make your bullets ricochet, so if you miss an enemy, they will bounce back at them. Then we have Tombstone. This is the most broken skill in Nisha's skill tree. So when you get a kill skill, your bullets have a chance to hit an automatic critical hit. And this goes for everything i mean it goes for grenades melee damage slam damage uh bullets rockets everything it doesn't matter anything you do it has a chance to be a critical hit automatically so boosting this with the crap shooter let's put that on basically it's going to give you a 66 percent chance to have a critical hit automatically when you get a kill skill so this can be pretty broken then we have the unforgiven bullets will ricochet back at your targets and also blow up your enemies and that's my basic gun build so let's go ahead and show it off So first off we have the probe, this is gonna be your best melee weapon in the game. It has a 50% melee damage bonus since you have one for each of you out of the skill. Uh, it's gonna double it which is gonna give you a 100% melee bonus which is pretty cool. This is for freezing your enemies, so if you hit a critical hit, uh, you will automatically freeze the enemy. And you can apply this with tombstone too, so if you hit a body shot and it counts as a critical hit, uh, it will freeze the enemy. So this is for basically getting around, like I showed you before. And you can put on a launcher if you want to, if you want to like get second wins or whatever. But for the most part, I like to stay pure melee. The Avalanche, this is the best roid shield in the game. The Enforcer, this is going to boost your melee damage to the max. Acrobat, this is going to increase your movement speed if you slam the ground. And also you get airborne melee damage if you're uh, in the air. Stormfront, this is going to break your roid shield so you can get the roid damage bonus. Alright, so here's the skill tree for my melee build. So I'm not going to cover everything like I did before. But basically, you have to spec any of these to get down the tree. So you have to in increase your shield capacity, which is kind of like not good for a melee build. 
but you can still one-shot your shield anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Order gives you healing, one hit more damage. Rough Rider, this is gonna increase your slam damage a little bit, and also more stacks. The third degree now, when the showdown ends, you're gonna get a huge melee bonus, which is really good for this build. This is for more health regen and also order stacks. This will give you more health regen and movement speed. Then we have Thunder Crackdown. Now this skill is really good for the melee build. So imagine there's like a circle around your character. When you use this skill, like melee an enemy, it's gonna hit everything in that radius. But then we have more movement speed, uh, more showdown duration, more damage. This really isn't needed, but it's a melee skill, so I figured why not. Um, so when you melee an enemy, you can get some bullets back, which is cool. Uh, more reload speed, weapons pop speed, uh, ammo back, of course, and one for each of you. So you hold two pistols, uh, which means 100% melee damage bonus on your probe. More accuracy, more regen, more critical hit damage, more rate of fire, more mag, better reload. And tombstone, this does apply for everything. Grenades, guns, critical hits, uh, melee, everything. And the unforgiven, which is going to allow you to spam bullets everywhere when you're trying to freeze enemies. And yeah, that's pretty much the build, so let's go ahead and show it off. So I hope you guys enjoy the build. I will link it down in the description like I said before. And uh, go ahead and try it out. Have some fun with it. And before I go, I will do a boss smashing montage. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And I will see you guys later. Yeah, peace out.
Let's go! The Torque!